Okay, today we're going on a little hike to the Pushwalla Palms, but right now we're at a thousand palms with uh, Josh's mom and dad, Neil and Vicky, and we're just going to check out the thousand palms first before we go on the hike to the Pushwalla. I'm going to save the uh, slideshow walkabout through the thousand palms and McCallum Pond for the latter part of the video and focus in on the uh, hike to the Pushwalla Palms and then we'll um, come back to the special feature that we have at the McCallum Pond. Here comes our hikers. Hello. Okay, we're heading to the Pushwalla Palms. Yay. We'll be there shortly. Okay, so now we're heading towards the Pushwalla Palms and we've got a pretty good little hike ahead of us. Everybody's going to have fun. Walk through the desert here for a short while. And then you can see in the background, we got a pretty good, a pretty good hike up that hill. Hey, now, just, and there goes our hikers. They're ready. Some people coming back and we're gone. Okay, we're up on the ridge and not sure if you can see the crows, but they're just riding the thermals that are coming up the ridge. And uh, we'll just show you what they're riding here in a minute. They're having a lot of fun. They're just playing. And we're still working our way up the ridge. We've got a fair ways to go to get to Pushwalla, but we're going to make it. Hopefully in time for lunch. And here's a little view back. This is Palm Springs in the background. And working our way around the Couchella Valley towards Indio and the Salton Sea. And we're going to be hiking along this little ridge for a ways further. Well, we're still working our way up the ridge, but we've come to the area where we can see the hidden palms from above. And they're down in this, down at the bottom of the, well, I wouldn't call it the valley because it's where the Pacific Plate is coming up and meeting the North American Plate. And it uh, exposes water along the fault line, which allows the palms to grow. And there, there they are. And here's another view of the hidden palms, looking at the Pacific Plate. And as you can see, there's, it's being pushed up. And uh, we've been walking along this ridge. This is looking back the way we've come. And as we pan around here, you see the trail that we're on, which is on the top of the ridge. And down in this valley down here is where the Pacific Plate, or sorry, the North American Plate meets the Pacific Plate, and it's going under the Pacific Plate. And it's all along this valley that we're walking along. As we work our way up to the high point on the ridge. And here comes the group. They're coming down off the ridge. We're working our, down, our way down into the into the palms where the lunch break will be. And we're going to head down this trail and see what we can see. Places to, uh, sit down there? Not really. Okay, we're down in a gully, working our way down into Pushwalla, keeping an eye out for rattlesnakes. There's been a few spotted out here, hopefully none today, but it would be interesting. So 
This trail just kind of works its way down through this gully. It's a pretty, pretty good trail. And here comes the team. Ellie and Christy. And Josh and Sheila. And here comes our hikers. We've made it to the Pushwalla Palms and uh, we'll be stopping for lunch. We're just going to be heading up this way and uh, viewing the palms of Pushwalla Palms. There goes the team. Well, we've made it into the Pushwalla Palms. We've been hiking through the palms for a little while and uh, as promised we've stopped for lunch. So we're check out the palms and oh, check out the group having lunch. There we go. We're right on schedule. Got to keep the schedule going. Come and have your other half a sandwich, Wayne. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. And we're going to be working our way up through here. It's very, very nice down here. As we've mentioned before, the desert's had a lot of water this winter. So it's pretty green. These palms wouldn't be here if there wasn't water. Okay, we're leaving the Pushwalla Palms. And we're going to be heading back. Had our little lunch break. And it's a pretty nice day, and we're going to be going out this way. <laughs> now we've got to hike out of this canyon to get back to the car. Here comes our hikers. I think they've had lots of water. Yeah, thanks to my camel pack. <laughs> okay, and this is the way out. On the way home, up this cut, past this old car, and so here we go. Somebody tried to drive here a few years ago. They almost made it all the way. Oh, 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 there's eight of them. Oh, they've seen something. There's like eight. Oh, they're got. Got stingers, Wayne. They've got don't hold on to I'm me. Here to fall. They've got little uh they got stingers. Wow, this is a lot of this Oh they're having a little smorgasbord on this plant. There's another one over here. There's Look at three in that one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Where? Isn't that interesting? Oh, yeah. There's wow. so many. Okay. Huh? Guys, watch out. Carry on. Oh. Pass the wreck with the bullet holes. Yeah. If it didn't have bullet holes, it wouldn't be right. Okay. And away we go. Well, we thought Wayne should get in the picture. So here he is, he's going up. Kids are way out there. What do you think, Wayne? Okay, I'm going. Okay, we've made it out of the valley, up the canyon, past this really nice yellow flowers, and we're going to be heading out across the desert on our way home. Who's going first? Come on. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going first. Still got it. They're still hopping and puffing from hiking out of the canyon. Yeah, and you're not, you're just not talking as much because you know you're going to hear something. Okay, here comes our trusty hikers. Hiking out. And that was them. And we're gone.
Zukunft.